first things first, make sure your audio file is an MP3 file. Can be WAV, can be FLAC, can be OGG. Make sure it is an MP3. Once you have it in your downloads folder or any other folder, make a folder for it. Just any folder doesn't really matter. Put your MP3 file into this folder and make sure that it's in there. Next thing you want to do, it's not necessary. I like to do it. Pull up MP3 tag. Just download it off of Google or, any, or anywhere else. This just lets you change the data of the file. You don't need it. it. lets you add things like the album cover, album, the artist, the title, things like that. So if you want to do this, you go up here to change the directory folder with the little green check icon. Go to downloads, select your folder, select folder, pull up your file. Mine already has it on here, but if you wanted to, you could add the title, uh, artist, album, track, genre, things like that. So after you do that, you want to go save, close out, and then pull up Apple Music. You want to go to library, recently added. Once you're on this page, you bring your MP3 file, you just drag and drop onto here. All right. And again, you're going to want to make sure that it's an MP3 file. It does not work with anything else. I've already tried. You can go ahead and try yourself. Maybe it'll work. But for, in my cases, it has never worked. So you're going to want to go to settings, general, and desync your library. Basically, this is just going to make sure that this file that you just uploaded into Apple Music actually gets put into the cloud and, and it doesn't just stay in your local like Apple Music app. So after you desync, go back and sync it again. Make sure that it syncs all the way. That way it's uploaded to every other, every one of your other devices. That way you can listen to it on your other devices, not just the one that you uploaded it on. Sometimes it'll glitch out and it say that this like file doesn't exist or something like that where it doesn't let you play the file. Usually you just have to sign out of your account where you originally updated the file and then sign back in and then just again, try the desync sync. Other times it'll literally just not like not work something is down with the server, something's wrong with the servers, and it just will not let you. And there's times like that where you just can't really do anything and you just kind of have to wait until it fixes itself. But after you do that, you will see that you have your folder here in Apple Music. You want to just make sure that it plays, make sure everything works properly, make sure that it has all your metadata and everything. And yeah, that's it. Just if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you.